Hey fellow aviators! Today we're going to remove different parts of the aircraft and see if we'll still be able to fly. Let's begin! So, there's this TFS mod I reviewed a while ago that lets you remove parts of various TFS planes. Let's start with something simple, for example, the wingtips. First, we'll remove the left wing tip and see how it affects our flying. Systems ok, we can already notice the sudden speed drop. And it's a bit harder to turn left. Turning back to field airport will take a while now, so let's maybe just go to shore airport instead. The plane keeps banking to the left, even though I don't do anything. This RL-72 is definitely the most unstable thing that is flying right now. Ok, controlling this thing is much harder than I expected. Time to get our gear down. This approach will be really bad. 200. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten. Alright, we landed safely. But this was actually not so easy. Let's repeat this. But now. Remove both wingtips. Now that's gonna be a challenge. Systems damage. Systems damage. Okay, so we're about to stall here. I can no longer use joystick to make turns. Just the rudder. Let's try to reach shore airport again and make an emergency landing there. Alright, we're about to land. Let's get the gear down. Oh, look at the speed! Uh, that is not looking good. 400. Terrain. Okay, jeez, that was close. Definitely not expected. And another bad approach. Ouch. And we survived. Although this was super hard. And I almost crashed during the approach. You have to be extremely careful here. Anyway, this tool also lets you remove other parts of the airplane. But I don't think I have to explain what happens when you remove the plane's wing. Or stabilizer. It's pretty much impossible to save the plane when that happens. You know what's cool about X-Plane? It has such things right out of the box. No mods or add-ons needed. The failure's tool lets you remove many parts of the plane. Let's maybe try to get rid of the wing. Like, genuinely. Ok, we're up. Or maybe not really. Ok, I keep trying to pull up, but I think you understand it's impossible to save this plane. Well, that was an expected outcome. And if you expected something else to happen, well, that's weird. 
Let's maybe get to proper experiments. For example, in failure step we have stabilizers, left and right, and vertical stabilizers. Let's see the difference between them. Okay, left stabilizer is apparently gone. Let's enable, I mean, disable right stabilizer as well. Yeah, nothing out of ordinary. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, I can control anything at this point. What about vertical stabilizers? Let's check it out. Honestly, maybe something changed, but I again don't feel anything unusual. Time to get rid of the second option. Oh yeah, that is something. I wish Explain had wingtips failures like TFS, because they at least give you a chance to survive. Meanwhile wing or stabilizer failures will most likely lead you to a crash. Anyway, moral of the story, don't fly without wings or stabilizers. If that wasn't obvious enough already, <laughs> lol. So, what can I say in conclusion? Honestly, I hope more flight simulators work on failless customization. Especially the ability to remove parts of the planes, and I don't mean just gear. It is a bit pointless, because the possibility of you saving the aircraft is almost zero, unless it's something not too bad, like the wing tips. But it's still fun to watch. And what do you think? Comment below. If you enjoyed watching this video, Make sure to hit the like button. And if you're here for the first time, subscribe for videos like this one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.